everyone. I'm here with another book tag. And what is this one called? It's called the Happy Bookaholic tag. And I am a happy bookaholic. So I said, hey, let's do this tag. Let's talk about me and books and be happy because they all work together really well, wouldn't you say? All right, so there are 10 questions. I don't know what I'm on today, but just roll with it. Um, I'm gonna go over all 10 questions and yeah. So let's dive on in. What do you love about buying new books? I just love the crisp, clean look of a brand new book. I love how smooth and just pristine everything looks. That's the same meaning as clean and crisp, whatever. Um, I don't like those little deckled edges on books. I hate them with a passion. So Hank Green, I got you, I understand. Um, I love the smell of new books. Is that weird? Like I love the smell of new books. I love the feel of the covers before the oils of people's fingers have touched and damaged the cover. I love just the font. You open the book for the first time and you see the font style of the book and you either really love it or really hate it. I am so big on font styles. But I just love exploring and getting to know a book. It's such an intimate process for me, like looking at the spines and opening the book and looking how it was put together, taking off the dust jacket. I just I love it. I love it. So yeah, let's answer the next question before this gets awkward, if it's not already. Number two, how often do you buy new books? Um, it varies. Some months I binge like crazy on books as you've seen in my book hauls and then some months I just buy one or two you know books or five you know at the most as you've seen in my book hauls. Um, it really just it fluctuates it depends on you know how much money I have or how much money I didn't spend you know that month and I feel like I want to just treat myself a little bit more than I usually do or if there's a really good sale going on somewhere it all just varies. Number three, bookstore or online shopping? Online book shopping, which do you prefer? Both, really. Um, it all depends on the book and the situation. If I need to have a book right away, I'll go to a bookstore, I'll go to Barnes and Noble. Um, if I really want a book, but I'm, you know, it's down on my list of TBR, you know, my TBR list, I have like three books to read before it. I can order it from Amazon or something or Book Depository or something and just get it, you know, when I'm ready to get it. But if it's an author that I just really must have, like right the second, I'll like run to Barnes and Noble or Walmart or Target and just pick it up. <laughs> Do you have a favorite bookstore? No, I don't. Unfortunately, there's not that many um mom and pop bookstores that are fully stocked all the time um there is a half price bookstore that i go to every tuesday to just look at the new selections they have um barnes and noble is really the only major bookstore near me um there is another bookstore i can't remember the name rainy day books I go there for a few books, but that's typically if there's a, if they're having an author event. So I don't really have a favorite. I just kind of fluctuate between bookstores depending on what I want and what I need kind of thing. Do you pre-order books? Why, yes, I do. Typically, I pre-order through Amazon because I have an Amazon credit card. Um, or I will pre-order through Barnes & Noble and I'll just go pick it up that day. But I don't pre-order that often, but this year I think I have about five to seven books that I've pre-ordered already. Do you have a monthly book buying limit? Um, not really, but I should have one. What I've done is I've decided that I am only going to buy books or buy new releases from authors that I've read before. That way, because I know I want that book, I trust that author, I, I know that author, I'm familiar with his or her writing, so I can just go ahead and buy it because I'm a fan of that author, typically. Any other books, you know, from new 
artists that I've never heard of, I typically just reserve it at the library and go pick it up. If I love it after I've read it from the library, then I'll buy it. So that's kind of how I limit myself to not going cuckoo banana crackers over, you know, just buying tons of books every month. Book buying bans, are they something for you? Not really. Um, I don't believe in banning myself from something that I really, really love. I just feel like I need to put a limitation on it. So doing the whole book buying limit thing where I said that I would just get books of authors that I've read before, that will help me with my spending because my justification for buying a book, oh, I've read this author before, I really, really like this author, so I'm gonna buy this book. Versus, you know, picking up a book and not even being familiar with the author or their writing and just buying it just because the cover looks pretty or because you heard it was pretty good. I can just really reserve it at the library, read it, then know I love it or hate it, and if I love it, then I can go buy it. So it's just a way to manage my spending. So no, I don't really believe in bands. How big is your wish list? Oh golly, my wish list is rather long only because I keep my wish list on Goodreads. I don't really have an Amazon wish list. Well, I do, but it's not that long and I don't really update it. My Goodreads to be read list is the most accurate, even though at this point it's not really as accurate as I would like. There's over 350 books on that thing. And I'm pretty sure some of them I don't even give a damn about like I don't want to read them anymore I probably did at the time so I kind of need to go through that list and kind of delete what's not really you know my thing anymore but I typically just keep on track with my Goodreads account on what my wish list is so my Goodreads is down below if you want to check and see how many books I have on that list it's a problem and then also keep in mind, my wish list is full of books I want to read, but I don't necessarily want to own them, you know? So it just, it depends, but there are just, you know, whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. Which three books, either from my wish list or from pre-orders, do I want to own now or what I like to own now? Uh, City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. Opposition by JLA, Jennifer L. Armentrout and then Unmade by Sarah Reese Brennan. I need those books like today, right this second, in my posesione. I need them. Like what is, why are they not here? I want them now. Like I said, it's a problem. Then finally, who do you tag? Um, I tag A Thousand Lives of Daisy and Miss Daisy. I tag Carmen from Oh The Book Sales and Sarah from What A Nerd Girl Says. And then all of you guys, you guys can do it too. This is not limited to people I tag. You can totally do it. That's what I did. No one tagged me. I took charge of this tag and I did it because I wanted to. Yeah, this just got weird. So yeah, that is it for the Happy Bookaholic tag, is that what this is called? Is that what this is? Yes, the Happy Bookaholic tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I am weird today. But yes, comment down below with your answers to the questions or whatever you wanna comment about. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Princess wave, princess wave, princess wave, princess wave. That's not the princess wave. Princess wave, princess wave. Bye. <laughs> I don't get me either. Don't try. <laughs> I'm so weird. <laughs>